guys, this is Caesar Creates, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to the Cretaceous Desert Park. In this episode, we'll finally add a zipline to our park. Uh, the zipline is a new attraction added with the free update, the free anniversary update for the Jurassic World Evolution uh, 2, and I still haven't got the chance to build an enclosure featuring the zipline uh, here on my channel. I know that probably all the dino youtubers uh, have uploaded their uh, like builds with the zipline and so on uh, but yeah my schedule is uh, a bit all over the place lately so finally we will do it and I had this idea in mind of the zipline going through a canyon uh, and in this canyon there will be higher dinosaurs just such as sauropods living in there uh, so yeah that was my idea uh, unfortunately it doesn't work as quite as I wanted you will see that in the uh, real time part of the video I still love it I still love that it was added uh, I think it is such a fun addition to the game uh, and I really like how this enclosure has turned out we'll build only one enclosure today uh, uh, but we'll add three different dinosaurs to it those will be the herbivores and the sauropod that I decided to add is the camarasaurus Maybe this is not the tallest sauropod in the game, but I really like it, I really like the model and I also saw uh, some suggestions from you guys to add it uh, to the park, so why not do it? Uh, this is one of the dinosaurs that we still haven't got the chance to add to any of my parks here on YouTube, so uh, I decided that it's finally time to add it. And there are also some other dinosaurs that I still haven't got the chance to add uh, with the enclosure with the Camarasaurus and those will be the Nasutoceratops. The Ceratops set that I really enjoy, I think that it looks amazing with those bull horns. Uh, like, you can really distinguish this guy from other Ceratops sets. Uh, so, this is the one. And also the Sora Pelta, which is also a really wonderful dinosaur. It has those really cool spikes uh, on the sides. Uh, I will, of course, showcase all of those dinosaurs in the real time part of this video when we'll be done with the speed build. By the way, sorry for my voice today, I am a bit sick, yeah, uh, it got a bit like cold in the place where I live and I probably should wear some like warmer clothes and a hat and of course I ignored it and I was, you know, going to work without anything warm. I live very close to my work so it's like only five minutes walk for me, uh, so I often just, you know not wear enough clothes when I go to my work and I think that I definitely should not do it because something definitely caught me and uh, I have to take care of myself uh, but yeah I hope that you are not too bothered by my voice today. What I also wanted to uh, talk with you guys about is the new DLC that has been announced. I will probably be uploading this video before it drops. Uh, so yeah, really, really cool DLC. Uh, this is of course the, the Dominion Malta expansion. This is something that was speculated, like rumored or, you know, we just were begging for it. and. Finally, we are getting a Malta DLC with all those very cool species. I am very, very happy with the ones that they decided to include. I also am really hopeful that the hype for the game will go up once again, because I feel like lately it's a bit more like lower, like... For example, looking at the views on my videos from the Jurassic World Evolution 2, uh, definitely there are less video, less views, but it's still okay as I don't, you know, plan to drop this series anytime soon. I'll for sure want to finish it and probably do the other one when this one will be finished. Uh, I know that there are some people who uh, still watch those videos, so I am very, very grateful for them. But yeah, we get four new different species of uh, different creatures. I wanted to say the dinosaurs but one of them is not a dinosaur so if you've been living under the rock and you don't know what we are getting in the uh, DLC I will repeat that uh, so first of all we are getting the Atrosuraptor I think that I will post the photos of those dinosaurs and not dinosaurs on the screen so we can check them out uh, so the Atrosuraptor is basically a bigger version and 
maybe more aggressive version of the Velociraptor, but they look really, really cool. Like very dangerous, uh, big, bigger uh, carnivores. Uh, and I am very happy that they were added because I loved the scenes with the Atrociraptors in the movie. Uh, so yeah, really cool addition. Uh, then we have the one that makes me very exciting, uh, excited. This is the one that is not a dinosaur. This is the Synapsid. And uh, this is called the Lystrosaurus, if I am correct. If not, please correct me in the comments. Always the pronunciation of those dinosaurs is a bit difficult for me. Uh, but this guy looks just so, so cool. I love it so much. I loved it in the movie. And uh, yeah, I am super excited for it. I will definitely add this guy here to this park. Then we have another one that really excites me. This is the Oviraptor. Uh, this is the Omnivorous dinosaur so I am very like curious what they will do with the food for them but simply if they'll be like eating just meat like other carnivores or if they'll get another feeder or something but it also looks really cool and I am very happy that we are getting those feathered dinosaurs uh, still so uh, yeah this one is so cool and then we have the Morris Intrepidus if I am correct uh, this is a tiny dinosaur and I am very happy for a tiny dinosaur because I love the uh, different, you know, uh, size variations of the dinosaurs. That's why I love the compies because they are so tiny. So it's all super, super nice to get another tiny dinosaur like this one. Uh, of course, we'll also get some other like skins and variants for the dinosaurs that were already existing in the game. So that will be the Allosaurus, the Dimorphodon, the Iguanodon that looks totally amazing. It's so, so nice and the Carnotaurus uh, from uh, the movie, so uh, yeah, really, really exciting stuff. And there will be some new campaign missions. The one of the campaign mission will actually uh, feature something very nice, and this is the Natural Lagoon. So basically the lagoon that you'll be able to, you know, this will be just a part of the ocean, a part of the sea, and you'll be able to uh, put your, uh, you know, uh, swimming reptiles in there. <laughs> this is from, from what I understand, so this is really cool. Uh, and also there's of course free updates and the most uh, like exciting thing for me from the new update are the new tiny dinosaurs behaviors. Uh, so from now on, the, uh, for example, the comp Compies, the new uh, Oviraptor, the uh, Lystrosaurus, the Moros Interpidus, in Tepidus, <laughs> will be able to, for example, attack the guests or uh, attack the goats uh, that the compies, for example, weren't able to do. So that's so, so cool. I cannot wait to see those animations. So yeah, I am very, very happy with the new DLC. I cannot wait for it. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Tell me down in the comments, what is your favorite species that will be added to the game? I would love to hear that. I am a bit sad that the Microceratus won't be added to the game with the new DLC, but maybe in the future we'll get it. And yeah, this is all that I have for you guys, and let me uh, say hello to you in a second in the real time part of this video. Okay guys, let's have a look at everything that we've built today in today's episode. And I must say that I really love this view. This is exactly what I wanted to build. So we have a canyon with a water section in the middle. We have those uh, large sauropods here enjoying the water. And on the sides, we have some rocks like creating this canyon. And we have some trees. Uh, this habitat is definitely more large. This is all for, the, uh, for those sauropods to enjoy the trees this one is eating as you guys can see uh, so this is all for them i'm fine with some of the habitats being like more jungly uh, this is still a park so uh, it's all controlled environment by humans so i am sure that they would be able to water those plants from time to time even though we are on the desert so we have the zip line you can see the guests enjoying the rides in here uh, there's one thing that I don't really like enjoy about it. Like I lo love the zip line, but I wish it was not so high as it is right now. Uh, I kind of don't understand why it is so high. I lowered the ground in here so it could be like half of the height and it still would work and it would look more like it would look just simply 
10, 10 times better for the guys that will be like passing next to those huge sauropods but hey it's just the way it lo it works we cannot make it like uh any lower but yeah this looks so cool with the gas like coming down imagine when the park will be finished in there and uh, we'll just see those gas and then in the distance there will be enclosures plazas and stuff like that okay so uh this is the enclosure we also did uh, this part because it was empty uh so we added a drink shop because i have so many guests complaining about the first we are on the desert so uh, uh yeah this makes sense uh we have this little plaza in here we have like a really cool viewing uh opportunity for the guests from here the view from here is just spectacular so i really love this spot in here uh and uh yeah we have the uh the viewing gallery we can go and see because their view from there is also really nice we can see the guests on the zip line uh and we did this little plaza in here with the fountain just some you know uh something for decoration and of course we uh, decorated the path near the enclosure i added some uh, different plants to make it look nice there's another like a uh, viewing opportunity if the um, dinosaurs are like next to the fence the guests will be able to see them from the path and uh, then we have this like ro roads in here to this lower part of the zip line i'm not sure it will stay this way uh, i will have to do something with it that's why i didn't decorate it i think of making an another enclosure in here like with some heel and something so uh this is just temporarily i think that i will change it a bit that's why i didn't decorate it and i didn't decorate this part um the other side of the part because path because there will be an enclosure as well uh, so yeah what i really wanted to do now is take a ride on a zip line so let's do it uh as you guys can see the view from here is also really nice so let's ride our zip line yeah it's so cool to see those dinosaurs from this perspective it is going a bit fast, but I can imagine that the real zipline will be going fast as well. Okay, so that was the ride. Imagine when the park will be finished, the guests will also get really cool like viewing, uh, like for those enclosures in here and so on. Mm, so this is the enclosure. Uh, this part of the park is actually you cannot build in here that's why maybe it looks a bit weird but when it will be finished we'll have this like small hill in the middle and uh, the enclosures will be around it so i think it makes sense and looks nice and yeah this is the enclosure so uh, let's have a look feeder needs resupply oh my god i really wanted to showcase the animals eating this time because i didn't do it in the last episode but then things like that pop up and I'm not like used to it at all. Uh, so we have our Camarasaurus and this guy is probably my favorite out of the all uh, skins and colors that we have. I really enjoy this guy. I have, I know that there are some mixed feelings about it in the community, but I must say that I, I really like it. I like its face. I like the sh body shape. I like the eyes that have like this really beautiful color. And it's nice to have those dinosaurs in different like uh, height variations and so on. So this is one of the like middle size, smaller uh, like uh, sauropods and I really, really like it. Uh, we also have this one. This is really cool. And I, of course, am always choosing my dinosaur like randomly. The game just chooses the colorations. And it's so cool that we have uh, two uh, like gray ones and two like orangey ones. So they sort of look like, I don't know, pears or <laughs> anything. But yeah, uh, this one is also nice, but this one is definitely a standout. Uh, so uh, yeah, those are the four Camarasauruses that we have in here and we also have the Sora Pelta. I really love this dinosaur. I love the Ankylosaurids very much in this game. They, I think that they are very underrated but they are done beautifully like just look at those spikes and those colors. I especially like this one. Uh, this is how I imagine a dinosaur simply how the colors would be on a dinosaur like 
uh, a bit more washed out, like grayish, uh, brownish. I'm not sure if this is correct, of course, but uh, it looks amazing. And I love those horns and this really long tail. Really cool dinosaur. So we have this one. If you are wondering, my favorite color of this is the Killian Mountains and it's a blank pattern. Uh, so if you'll go to other another Sora Pelta, we have for example this one, this is the Sonoran Desert Rana, a bit more like darker one. And we also have this guy or girl over here and this is the also the blank pattern and this is the Death Valley. Really cool dinosaurs. And we also have Nasutoceratops somewhere in here yeah they are here and i must say that the game chose for me not maybe my favorite colors they are very saturated i mean this is very green <laughs> but yeah i still like this dinosaur i really really like the model like those horns look just like on a bull and i like this like hard thing in here on the nose it looks really good uh, so we have this one we have this one that I enjoy a bit more. This is the Great Sandy Desert Pelopyrax, if I am right. Uh, and, oh, this is my favorite one. This is also green, but not so, like, uh, saturated. This is the Champlain Valley Blanc pattern. Uh, and we, for example, have another green one. I don't know what is with this, those green ones, Nasutoceratops. Nasuto it's... Uh, the game just loved them today and this is my favorite probably it still has a bit green so uh yeah very like surprising but it's more like uh you know the colors are not so bright and it's more like uh grayish and so on so yeah, this is the new enclosure. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoy the dinosaurs that I uh, and that I decided to uh, add and uh, that you like the new feature, the zipline that we now have in our park. It's always good to have new uh, attractions and new things. And also uh, it adds a bit of like hide something. It's not so like all boring because we have this tower right now. <laughs> so it makes things a bit more interesting. And yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed our new episode of the Cretaceous Desert Park. Uh, I hope you are excited for the new DLC uh, that is coming really soon. We will probably, uh, the next episode will probably include adding a new dinosaur from the new DLC. Uh, okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please consider to subscribe to my channel if if you haven't already, uh, give this video a big thumbs up, uh, ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, leave me a nice comment down below, tell me if you enjoyed today's video and what are what is the thing that you are mostly waiting for when it comes to the new DLC. Also, if you'd like to support the channel a little bit extra, you can do it with the join button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next next one. Bye guys!